12 minutes a day of prayer can totally eradicate anxiety, fear, and worry. That's been proven by neural theology. So I've designed this prayer right here, 12 minutes, which you're about to watch right here. If you wanna, if you wanna learn more about this, I will put a link in the description that totally describes the science of neural theology and how this works. But here it is, 12 minutes of prayer if you listen to every day, and this will totally rewire your brain. My dear Lord Jesus, I come to you now to be restored in you, to be renewed in you, to receive from you all the grace and mercy I so desperately need this day. Lord, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. And I honor you as my sovereign, and I surrender every aspect and dimension of my life totally and completely to you. I bring my life, my heart, my soul, my mind under the authority and rule of Jesus. I give to you my spirit, soul, and body my heart, mind, and will. I cover myself with your blood, my spirit, soul, and body, my heart, mind, and will. I ask your Holy Spirit to restore me in you, to renew me in you, and to lead this time of prayer. And all that I now pray, I stand in absolute agreement with your spirit, with my intercessors and allies, by your spirit and your spirit alone. God, I recognize that every good and perfect gift comes from you. So I thank you, God, for salvation, renewal, forgiveness of sins. Thank you for salvation in Jesus Christ, position in Christ Jesus, that there's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Thank you for my home, my family, my health, my finances. God, I just bring all this under your kingdom, authority, reign, and rule, and ask you to reign and rule over every aspect of everything. God, I recognize that everything good in my life, that it comes from you. So God, I just pray today that you'd help me to recognize every rogue and toxic thought and take them captive to the obedience of Christ. We take every thought captive to obey Christ. God, that any time that any negative thought, any, any bad thoughts make their way into my mind, that you would alert me by the power of your Holy Spirit. You'd help me to recognize it. And God, that you would flood me with the truth of your word, of my position in you, of my kingdom purpose. Lord, help me today to dwell on whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable. If there's any moral excellence and if there's anything praiseworthy, then give me a desire to dwell on these things today, O oh God. Help me with my thought life. Help me with every thought that comes into my life, O oh God, that it would just go through the filter of your kingdom authority, reign and rule over my life, that it would go through the filter of my kingdom purpose, that you'd help me to see my kingdom purpose in everything today, oh God. Lord, I ask you to bring life transformation into my life today through the renewing of my mind. I ask you to open my spiritual eyes and ears to see and hear your perfect will in everything I experience, oh God. Lord, I confess my sins. So right here, dear friend, just think of any of your, your sins, your lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life, any other individual sins, just name those right now before the Lord. God, I ask you to forgive me from all my sins. Cleanse me from all of my unrighteousness due to my position in Christ, not because of my performance, but due to my position in Christ Jesus and his complete work on the cross for my sins. God, thank you for that. Lord, I ask you today to grant me repentance from all my sins to turn away from them, give me the power to recognize them, to turn away and to move towards you, O oh God. Lord, help me today to run from anything that stimulates youthful lust. And instead, give me a desire to pursue righteous living and faithfulness, love and peace, and to enjoy the companionship of those who call on the Lord with a pure heart. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me my sins and by your power I will not live under sin's condemnation, but rather in the joy of your grace and your mercy. Lord, help me today to not to be anxious about tomorrow, but God, to be focused in on your kingdom purpose of this day, to rejoice with you in this day, to see your goodness in every aspect of everything today, even the heartache and the sorrow and the negative things, God, that I still would see your grace and your mercy in everything, God, to see your goodness. What convict me? When I use foul language, when I'm critical, when I complain, and put a desire in my heart to speak encouragement to everyone that I talk to today, that I come in contact with today. Today, help me not to worry about anything, but in everything through prayer and petition with thanksgiving, I'll present my request to you, O God. 
Lord, help me to deeply love others and give me a desire to show them honor in the way that I treat them. God, I'm coming to you now and I'm casting all my cares on you, Lord, because you care about me. Lord, give me the desire today to seek your kingdom, authority, rule, and righteousness first above everything else. If there's anything else that I'm seeking first, oh God, I ask you by the power of your Holy Spirit to reveal that to me, show that to me, grant me repentance, and give me a desire to seek your kingdom above everything else. I proclaim that the life-giving Spirit of Jesus has set me free from the power of sin and death. Lord, I pray your kingdom come, your will be done here on earth and in my life as it is in heaven. God, I ask you to give me your wisdom to respond to my trials and life circumstances with your kingdom perspective and integrity to make wise choices with every choice I make according to your kingdom plan for my life. I am in Christ. I'm a new creation. The old has passed away and I am seeing that the new has come. God, thank you for raising me up with Jesus and seating me with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus. Today I pray for your kingdom, authority, reign and rule to come over my family, over my life, over my thoughts, over every aspect of my life. So right here, dear friend, anything you're facing today, just pray for the kingdom, authority, rule of Jesus to reign and rule over that, your work life, your family, whatever you're struggling with, whatever you're doing today. I want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised him from the dead. For Christ is my life and I proclaim that it is the life of Christ in me that gives me life. I'm joined with Jesus through my regeneration and I'm one spirit with him. I'm united with Christ Jesus and through him, I'm in right standing with God that been set free from the law of sin and death. Jesus, I believe in you and I bring my life under your kingdom authority rule. And I pray that your river of life-giving water will flow to me and through me this day. Lord, stir in my heart a desire to know your will and kingdom purpose for my life, to trust you any time I find myself in the roundabout way through the wilderness, to experience the joy of living your kingdom purpose right here and right now in this season of life. No power in the sky above and the earth below, indeed nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate me from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. So God, I consecrate my life again today to the Holy Spirit. I consecrate my calling, my kingdom purpose, my work, my family, this day. God, I just pray, just want to bring it all under your kingdom, authority, reign, and rule. So just whatever you're doing today, dear friend, just consecrate that over to God. That means to commit it to him, to reign and rule and guide you in this day. So I present my body to Jesus Christ as a living sacrifice. I present the members of my body to Jesus Christ as instruments of righteousness. My body's been bought with the blood of Jesus Christ and it belongs to him. My body's a temple of the Holy Spirit and I renounce every way that I misuse and abuse my body. I bring all those acts under the atoning blood of Jesus Christ. I rededicate my body and all its parts to the loving rule of Jesus Christ. I dedicate and I consecrate my body to him in every way I ask for the blood of Christ to cleanse my body and make it holy once more. So Holy Spirit, come and fill your temple now and restore my body under the complete authority and dominion rule of Jesus Christ. Dearest God, holy and victorious Trinity, you alone are worthy of all my worship, my heart's devotion, all my praise, all my trust, and all the glory of my life. I love you. I worship you. I give myself over to you in my heart search for life. You alone are life and you become my life. I renounce all other gods and every idol. I give to you every place in my heart and in my life that you truly deserve. This is all about you, God, and not about me. You are the hero of this story and I belong to you. I ask your forgiveness for my every sin. I renounce my sins. I ask you to search me and know me and reveal to me my sins and where you're working in my life and to grant to me the grace of your healing, deliverance, your holiness, and a deep and true repentance for my sins. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving me and choosing me before you made the world. 
You're my true father, my creator, redeemer, sustainer, and the true end of all things, including my life here on earth. I love you. I trust you. I worship you. I give myself over to you, Father, to be one with you in everything as Jesus is one with you. Thank you for proving your love by sending Jesus. I bring my life under his authority rule and all of his work which you ordained for me. Thank you for including me in Christ, for forgiving me my sins, for granting me his righteousness, for making me complete in him. Thank you for making me alive with Christ, raising me with him, seating me with him at your right hand, establishing me in his authority, and anointing me with your love, your spirit, and your kingdom. I receive it with thanks, give it total claim to my spirit, soul, and body, to my heart, mind, and will. Jesus, thank you for coming to ransom me with your own life. I love you. I worship you. I give myself over to you to be one with you in all things, spirit, soul, and body, heart, mind, and will. I sincerely receive all the work and triumph in your cross, death, blood, and sacrifice, through which my every sin is atoned for. I am ransomed and delivered from the kingdom of darkness and transferred to your kingdom. My sin nature is removed. My heart is circumcised unto God and every claim being made against me is disarmed this day. I now take my place in your cross and death, dying with you to sin, to my flesh, to this world, to the evil one in his kingdom. So I take up the cross and crucify my flesh with all its pride, arrogance, unbelief, and idolatry, vanity, lust, discouragement, disillusionment, distraction, negative thoughts and feelings. I put off the old man, apply to me all the work in your cross and death and blood and sacrifice. I receive it with thanks and give it total claim to my spirit, soul, and body, to my heart, mind, and will. I mean the cross, death, blood, sacrifice of Jesus Christ against Satan, against his kingdom, against every foul and unclean spirit, every foul power and black art, against every witch and against every pathogen and virus, against every human spirit and warfare, against everything that's coming against me. I mean the cross, death, blood, sacrifice, of resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ through the borders of my kingdom and domain that you've entrusted me with, Lord, and I stake it there in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, I also sincerely receive you as my life. I receive all the work and triumph in your resurrection through which you've conquered sin, death, judgment, the evil one. Death has no power over you, nor does any foul thing. And I've been raised with you to a new life to live your life dead to sin and alive to God. I take my place now in your resurrection and in your life and in your authority rule. And I give my life to you to live your life. I'm saved by your life. I reign in life through your life. I receive your hope and love and faith and joy, your goodness, trueness, wisdom, power, and strength. Apply to me and my family all the work and triumph in your resurrection. I receive it with thanks and give it total claim to my spirit, soul, and body, to my heart, mind, and will.